the worst couples ever. Man up in the hotel room, the whole lie to say this is her cousin. They sleep in the island, but with each other. What is going on, guys? Shot clips here once again. And this video, we're gonna check out some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. And look, always my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, there is this guy. He ends up living with his girlfriend and I guess cheats on her. She does the most rational thing ever, which is kick him out. And then all you do is hear him weeping and crying in the background. And to be honest, I had to hold myself back from laughing. He's so stupid for doing this. Treat it for bad. What you want to keep talking to hoes though? Text the with their boxing. Yes, you was. I just think that. Yes, you was. Go stay with them. In this next one, this guy just did the ultimate move. If my girlfriend or wife did this, I would have probably done the exact same thing. He called. In this next one, this goes to show that even old people still have their problems, but still, I guess, fight through to have a happy marriage. And this, I guess, was just cute to watch. Yeah, true, right? Would you stop with the? In this next one, this guy's an absolute lunatic and he should 100% be kicked out for what he just did. Basically, I guess he just like touched a, a waitress and is kicked out and he ends up calling the cops absolutely flipping out guys, cursing up a whole storm and calls the police like that's gonna actually do something in his favor. He is so hurt, I guess, that he's kicked out, but to be honest, he's just out of line for doing that. Where's my card? You threw it out of your hand. Give me my card. You grab it. I'm not trying to. <laughs> grab it. Grab your card. What, man? Grab your card. You just fuck. The gear. Weirdo, you're the one who you're grabbed the chick's ass. Bro. You grabbed the chick's ass, not him. So who's the fucking no. ass did I grab? The server. Who's so ass? Pick up your card. Bring her out here, man. Pick up the card. Pick up the card. And this next one, it absolutely pissed me off the most. Basically, there are these two girls. They end up kissing this guy on the cheek in front of their boyfriends, and their boyfriends do absolutely nothing about it. Where are the actual men nowadays? This should not be happening. I don't care if you give your girlfriend permission. The fact that men are allowing this nowadays is absolutely disgusting. None of them have any self-respect for themselves. What is your body count? Go ahead. Two. Probably like 13. I got one more question. Is y'all kissing me on the cheek? I mean, yeah. Hey, babe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is this serious? <laughs> Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. And this next one is absolutely pretty crazy. Basically, there is this father who uh, is, I guess, single. And there is this mom who's, I guess, single. And this guy tries to get them together. And I guess the father was just not interested in women anymore because this was his response. What's your type? Tattoos. <laughs> you like tattoos? I do. All right, I feel that. What's your type? I like uh, thicker girls. All right. You got kids. Where's the baby daddy? He's out of the picture. Ah, uh, all right. Would you date him? I would. You would? <laughs> I would. Okay. Would you date her? Uh, I mean, I'm down for like a one night stand or something. Gotcha, bitch. How would you rate me? Scale of one to ten. Is this for YouTube? Uh, what up, YouTube? I'll okay. give you a solid six. In this next one, if you guys ever see this, it's absolutely true. Basically, there's this guy, I guess he's saying that if a woman ever says she's into dad bods, understand that there's probably some other reason she's saying that for, possibly trying to make some money off the older guys. And this is 100% the case. I really do feel like women just don't enjoy dad bods. If you're more fit and have your bods together, that's way more attractive than having some kind of dad bod with money. Hi, Sophia. I see you say you only like dad bods. 
That's great. Only problem is when I go to your following that's public, you only follow men who are male models or bodybuilders. You even follow one account that's just a male model thirst trap account. I also see you have an OF. Now, Sophia, you wouldn't be pandering to men to sell your OF, would you? In this next one, I really do feel bad for this guy, even though I guess they're laughing it off as good friends, I guess, trying to cheer him up. Basically, this guy ended up paying for his girlfriend's bills and completely like all of them. I guess the rent, I don't know, whatever, light bills, all these kind of stuff. And then afterwards, just for his girlfriend to kick him out after he paid all of it. Now he's homeless. And I guess this goes to show that no matter how pretty a woman is, you shouldn't really get taken advantage of unless actually that's your woman or your house. Either one. She just <laughs> kicked me out. <laughs> that got put out. That joker that got put out, y'all. This joking the guy put out she had it, but I paid all the bills, y'all. That boy a sucker. <laughs> that what happened when you a sucker, boy. That boy done paid all the bills and got put on the dough. Hey y'all, look, that boy be working hard. Give her everything. And look what she do to him. See what I'm talking about, boy, them women ain't no good, boy. All he gotta say, she got a big butt, she got a big butt, she got a big butt. Now look at him. I'm talking about some big butt. Look at him now, y'all. She got a big butt. She got a big butt. Now look at him. See where that big butt get your boy? A broke Tiger Woods. Y'all see him? <laughs> Joker, look. What you got to say to America, man? And this next one swim is absolutely delusional, saying that if you haven't done anything for, with other people for a whole year, your clock resets, which I disagree with. You guys know if you don't have sex for one year, you revert your born again version. And prior to that year, it was in the thousands. Huh? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> you were to rate me on a scale from one to ten, what yeah. would I be? I'd give you a nine. A nine? Oh. Oh. What am I? I'll give you a seven. Get the fuck out of here, you're fucking wrong. Emotional damage. And this next one, I'm not sure what this man is doing, but whatever it's, he's doing, it's working. This woman's absolutely in love with him. In this text, this guy asks these women, are you into more bad boys or good guys? And we get this question a lot, but I think I really realized the answer. Basically, I think when women say they like bad boys, I think they're just like dominant men. They don't like necessarily guys who treat them like garbage, but guys who are just always dominant and know what to do. Assholes are nice guys. Assholes. Do you mean nice guys? I'm sensitive. Why assholes? Because she told the truth. Unfortunately, I'm just attracted to them. It's like... They add totally a little more spice. Against my will, I love a good frat boy. They add a little bit more spice in life. That's how I would put it. And this next one absolutely made me die of laughter, but I did have to share the story. This guy, I guess, has got finessed uh, out of $40 because he brought a girl over and I guess she didn't want to do anything. So he goes to share the story and I was literally dying of laughter the entire time, especially the end. Let me know if you guys think he makes a point. To be honest, after he explained it in this way, I think he does have a valid point. If she knows what she's there for, uh, why delay her or deny Deny it. I don't know. But you guys gotta let me know what you guys think. Be a little story, right? Because I remember this time I don't order Shorty or Uber, right? Keep in mind it's like 11, damn near 12 o'clock. Now y'all know that Uber prices start shooting up after 10. Feel me? I done spent like 40 beans on Shorty Uber here. But it's alright, feel me? I spend the 40 beans because I'm about to get some cat, you feel me? So Shorty comes over, shit going smooth, you feel me? We playing Twister, feel me? Jenga, shit like that, you feel me? We getting vibes, you feel me? I, I got the little going, you feel me? Get me? Get the little Netflix popping, feel me? Now, now shit getting real. Soon as I turn the Netflix on the little dum-dum, I'm expecting Shorty to know what time it is. Mind you, I done called you over here late. She is you all kissing me on my neck and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, Shorty ready to go, feel me? So as I'm trying to... Go down and show you, show you pants with the hand, you feel me? She gonna move my hand and say, mm -mm. Yo, the anger that came inside of my body. Are you stupid? Now get out, get out. I don't want you here no more, bro. And don't, don't even think about coming back to my house. Now I know y'all probably gonna say, but Shorty probably ain't wanna. F Son, Shorty was literally telling me. That she wanted to before she came here. Talking about something, we want to be skin to skin. We is skin to skin! You came here to watch movies and play Jenga? Where am I gonna fuck? When am I gonna fuck? 
In this next one, there is a screenshot that I just had to show you guys. Basically, a woman said, why do men start doing podcasts instead of going to therapy? And this guy responded, the same reason why females start an OnlyFans instead of getting an actual job. And I couldn't agree more. I don't even know why therapy is such a big thing for men. I don't think it should be. I think you should just focus on yourself and go to the gym and stuff, you know? But I guess for women, instead of them trying to deal with their problems, they just uh, use their body to try making some more money. And this next one, I really just don't like this woman's answer. She could have been way more humble about it. I don't think, you know, a woman needs to pay for a date. But with the way this woman was responding, I would definitely not pay for her. Why do you think men should pay for the first date? Because that's their job. If that's their job, then what's your job? To get free food. Yeah. Yeah. They know exactly who you are. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brother. In this next one, I guess you just can't trust your siblings to take a good picture of you because, well, this might happen. Another one, another one. Here, go back. Come on, baby. That's enough internet for me today. Why would you do that? What is In this next one, basically, we have this woman. I guess she was underdressed for this party. Now she's explaining the story. I thought she was actually underdressed. Like she wasn't wearing enough clothing. But no, she was wearing enough clothing. It just didn't look good. And I guess she thought it did look good. She ended up going to see this famous person, I guess, Young M.A. I never heard of them, but whatever. And then a security guard approached her saying she needs to leave because, well, she just looked like absolute garbage. And if you guys don't agree, just wait till the end of the clip. She actually shows out her outfit. And I'm like, why would you ever leave the house like that? But whatever, you guys will see. So I was at Young and May's birthday party in Atlanta and I literally went because I just wanted to see her and take a photo with her and her girlfriend because they're so cute and beautiful together. I was so close to her and one of the security came up to me and he was like, you have to leave, you're under dress. And I was like, what? And he was like, no, like somebody from Young and May's crew said you're under dress. And I was like, I'm fucking sorry that I don't bring black tie attire to when I'm staying. I don't know if I can listen to her and feel the same again. And I don't even think I'm under dress. And this next one is absolutely insane. Basically, his baby mama was cheating on him, I guess, with what it looks like to be his girlfriend. If I'm not mistaken, while you're watching the clip. And I guess they were just still giggly about it. Like, they're happy that like, he caught him. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But they did end up making excuses. The girlfriend did deny everything. And then I guess the baby mama was like, nah, you're not getting away with this. You know exactly what you just did to me. And she even goes into detail, but I am actually going to blur out a lot of the things she says. Because I'm not having this on my channel at all. But yeah, check out this clip. It is absolutely insane. Baby daddy, but this put on, laying up in a hotel room with another nigga. Just walked in. I ain't for the show his face, but that's the nigga right there. Laying up in a hotel room with a whole lie to say this is her cousin. They sleep in the island with each other. The dude already admitted that he's not her, but this whole say me and her ain't been together in months. Months. Happy. Yeah, you kicking shit. me out of your house. Kicking me out. Talking to me any kind of way, assuming I'm everybody. You is. Yeah. It ain't no assuming. You is everybody. So you and my baby mama right here. Now this is actually where I get super confused because now he's actually recording, I guess, his baby mama. And there's just a bunch of cheating going on this guy was unaware of. And I guess it just comes out during this clip and you can see them kind of laughing. It does lighten the mood a bit, but to be honest, this is absolutely wild. I don't think I've ever seen a cheating clip like this. Oh, oh, so you and my baby mama Huh? Nope. So Ty, for the record, who ate? Oh, now you talking about? She said you ate. You ate. She said you ate her. Oh, so you didn't eat my. So you didn't eat my. You didn't eat my food. Three times. Oh wow, Facebook. Facebook. This time I didn't know. I didn't know these. Three times. I thought it was only one time. Three times. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.